Hi, I'm here with Chaos here again. This is another tech profile. This is rank up Mali Swarus tech. I did this tech um, uh, just for fun. It's not competitive at all. It's like tier a thousand or something like that. But still, pretty fun to play. And uh, if you get that uh, your Chaos 96 or Chaos uh, 43. Then it's really nice. So let's go at this deck. Um, the first, uh, three Malice Force Knife. If it is normal summoned, you can add uh, one Malice Force Muscle in your grave, then uh, except uh, Malice Force Knife and then Spurs on that heart. So really good for uh, one card rank 2 summons. Then three Malice Force Fork. You can send one other feet and Muscle from hand to the grave, but someone discard from a hand. So not that great, but uh, can uh, sometimes help if uh, you like to summoning. Then we might as well spoon. Um, might as well monster. If your name is normal spell summon to your side of the field, except during the damage step, you can add one, uh, two, you can't damage in your grave, but then press one that died. It's effects on the gate. Um, not that great, I haven't. Uh, I have only uh, uh, done. Uh, uh, Spoon's effect once, so it's not that uh, easy to trigger, so, but still pretty nice. Then, uh, re Umpa Horror Ghost, of course, like you have noticed, it's basic um, uh, level 2 Fiantec. So, it's um, basically if you discard in your hand, you can press one both discard and one level 4 lower Fianta Muscle from hand, and you cannot know what's one doing it to negative its effect. So, pretty nice in this deck. Uh, of course, uh, in Numbers it's uh, terrible, but in this deck it actually works. So then uh, we chant uh, Cherm because it's a, le a level two dark fiend, and when it's just just destroy a battle, if it fire damage, and then you can also press any number of chant Cherim from attack in fa face up attack position. So really good. Then uh, two evil hero if not approach Control monsters, you can press one discard from hand in face of attack. Mm. Reason why I run, run this is because it's a uh, level 2 fiend and can press someone itself. So, really good for rank 2s. Then, uh, free chunk synchron because of the fact that uh, all the, pretty much, almost all of the monsters you run in this uh, are uh, level 2, so why not uh, make some. Uh, one card level 5 synchros with this card. Then, spells. Uh, two Ragnar Magic uh, Parians Force, of course, for to summon out your uh, Chaos numbers Chaos 96, uh, Chaos 943, and uh, Chaos number uh, 65. So, yeah, really good. And then one Ton Thousand Throne. Um, basically, during was end phase. Gain 500 life points each time you took it by damage this turn. And when the mo monster you control is started from attack, except the number C monster, you can send this card to the graveyard, negate the attack, then press one from X deck, one number C monster whose name is contains the same number as the attacked monster, and you need the attacked monster as exist material. And this is, of course, treated as an exist someone, and you can only control one of this, so pretty nice for yeah, stall, or yeah, we can also gain. Life points and uh, that can help uh, trigger number 43's effect, even though it's not uh, that much. But still, not bad. Then, all of darkness for top four, two foreign lands to uh, to make sure that your place go through. Two mask based of phone, dark hole, and traps so on morning. One was trap hole, torrential, two mirror force, two dimension prison, two fans chain, and two eyes of Gaia. You wonder why is this here? You can be not gain 3 high life points and if you face up cards removed from field, take 3000 damage. The reason why I run this is to basically trigger number 43's effect, um, which I will explain uh, very soon in this deck profile. So, the next deck, Chunk uh, Warrior, why not? You have quite a lot of level 2s and it can gain attack according to how, many, how much attack you have on the field. Then, uh, Armandes, Keeper of Boundaries, and Anastasis Cutstar, the Exist Masters. 
two tower magician to exchange saints uh, uh, on your uh, uh, exchange master pretty much because you run all of your other exchange masters are ranked to a lower level so yeah really good then your free chaos numbers I run in here chaos number 96 Dark Storm, really powerful card actually if you get it out even though it's pretty hard basically this card can be destroyed by battle also all the battle damage you take from battles in one with this card is also like a free turn point if this card has a um, number 96 Dark Mr. Sex is Mater, it gains this effect. Most part that, we get the best turn when uh, attacks the credit in moving this card on and the opponent's monster. You can detach one access material from this card. The attack of the opponent's monster becomes zero, and if it does, this card gains attack equal to the original attack of the opponent's monster. So, really powerful. How to bring out, it's really nice. Then, uh, another key card, uh, Chaos Number 43, Chaos Marionette. Uh, Tokens you control can attack twice during each battle phase. And this card has number 43, Soul Mana Letters and Exchange Material. It gains this effect. Once per turn, you can touch one Exchange Material from this card, plus one, one Soul Token. And when it's summoned, its attack and def defense become equal to the half of bonus life points. So, really good. Basically, if you summon a token and the opponent has uh, 800 life points, uh, the token has 4000 attack points and can attack twice. So Really good, basically, not okay right there, but of course, it's really hard to make it happen. Then, case number, uh, case number 65, King of Wind. Once per turn, you can attach one exit mode of this card, then add one face of monster from controls, it loses 1000 attack and defense. And while this card has number 65 teams buster exit material, against this effect, effect once your opponent controls can attack with the effects. So pretty nice, but the problem with this card is that it has only 16 hundred attack, which is really low, so it can be run over pretty easily. So, but if you can protect it, it becomes really good because of that the opponent can attack with the master effects. Of course, then number 96 stock mist. Of course, really good. I think uh, you probably should know the, uh, his uh, effect. Because it has been out for a quite a while. Then, number 43 is Zone Mayanator. Of course, this is not generic, it requires free level 2 dark monsters. And, uh, once by turn, you get that's one exist meta from this card, then that one number monster in your graveyard. Equip that card to this card. While I equip the uh, number monster, this card can be destroyed by battle or by guard effect, so almost indestructible. But of course, there are bears and bounce cards and all those. Um, once per turn, you, when you gain life points, you can have this card gain attack equal to the amount of life points you gained, and inflict that minus damage to your part. So really good if you use that uh, life point gain effects. And that's why also I'm uh, Eyes of Kaya to make uh, uh, some effect, effect uh, really effective. So really good. Then this is five the Gene Buster. Because two level two dot basically once but either first turn we have effect once effect is activated. You know that's two extra minutes from this card and negate the effect and the activation and if you do it with power damage to part. Pretty nice. Then other rank twos, uh Shining Elf, Tagus the Phoenix, attack twice, uh Pachikazina Tetsu for protection and Armored Kappa. So this was my rank up Marish Voros tech profile. The problem with this deck um, is that rank 2 still aren't that powerful, so it can get run over pretty easily. But if you get out something like number 43 or uh, Dark Mist, then you might be closer to winning. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this deck profile. For now, goodbye and Omar Chaos out.